Hi, this is Maggie Benj from Memory Bound in Ankeny. Today, we are going to show you um, how you can Just make a cute little artistic gift to give to We're someone. Just going to use a stamp set, and then these little easels are only $1.99. Start with this stamp set. It's by Honey Bee. It's got the fun pickup on the bottom, but then you can add, depending on the season, a Christmas tree, presents, pumpkins, which we're going to do today, wine barrels, flowers. So you can make all of these using this one stamp set. As far as the um, sayings go, I found this one from my Sunny Studio, and it's got some fall sayings. For the flowers, I used um, this one by Dark Room Door. Black has some beautiful um, Christmas uh, wordings, Christmas verbiage that you can put on the winter one. I'm starting out with a piece of mixed media board. As you can see, it's really heavy. I've never used these corners before, and I discovered how cool they are because with this board being a little heavier, it fits right in there and holds that board. And we're going to position it about half an inch maybe from the bottom, like this. We want to stamp each piece separately. We're going to close up the misty. You need to ink it with a waterproof ink. I'm using archival ink, jet black. And then I'm going to take the truck off and I'm going to put my autumn greetings. We are going to add pumpkins. You want to make sure that the bottom of the pumpkins are right down there in that truck. So you'll need to overlap them just a little bit so that they don't look like they're floating. And now you have the pumpkins in the back of the pickup. Today, the medium I'm going to use are distress inks. I like working with them because of the different colors and plus they, they are a lot like water. Weathered wood is a beautiful color for skies and for snow. So we're going to start out with a big wide brush. For the sky and for the snow you want it pretty watery. And then we're just going to take and go over it just like that very quickly. Doesn't have to be perfect. You want it real watery looking. You can even just go right over the truck. Take your paint brush, get it a little watery, and get some texture like this, and it kind of will water down and give you a little more of a cloud look. Orange color, just to kind of get some fallish looking colors. And I'll start out with the green, then just put it on there. Don't worry too much about getting it on the truck. Get a, a base layer down, add again a little texture Probably one of my favorite greens. But see how that adds a little I don't depth. even clean out my paintbrush. In fact, I kind of mix them all Let's up. Add just a little rusty hint. It's the perfect red for a dark red trun. Missed it. A little bit. Paint in the pickup. We're just finishing up the pickup truck. Like that. And sometimes after it's dried, I'll go in and maybe add another layer like that to add some shadow. With the pumpkins, we're going to use carved pumpkin, of course. And we're also going to use a little rusty hinge just to give it a little shadowing and a little bit of depth of the pumpkin. Always start with your lighter color. And we'll just go ahead and color those pumpkins in. Okay, so now we've got the carved pumpkin. Because you know, not all pumpkins are created equal, so they're all going to be different. I'll add just a little along the bottom to just to make it look a little darker. So now you've got your pumpkins. Let's take that forest moss and mix it with a little brown. And let's add some shadows under the wheels. And make that truck a little more grounded. And we're just gonna take a really fine paintbrush and just draw a little, that'll that'll fade down and it will look like glass. Second to the last thing I like to do is do splatter. So I'm gonna take some ground espresso. I'm going to mist it. Not very much, but just enough to get it a little liquid. This is Tim Holtz's um, splatter so brush. Get the tips of this brush and then we're just going to go like this. Just finishes it off. And you can barely see it, but it's going to finish it so it doesn't look so clean and new. It's going to look kind of folly. But not least, we're going to go around the edges 
with some ground espresso. Here is your finished fall product. And then you put it on one of these easels that you can get right here at Memory Bound. And wouldn't that make a nice little gift for someone? Okay, now that we've finished the fall one, we're back with a winter one. Can you see the little pickup with the tree? It's tree and stamp. Stamps pretty much black, but you can still give it that green look. I put two different shades of green, peeled paint and forest moss. I'm just gonna finish this off again with splattering, only this time we're going to use Distress Paint Picket Fence. It's Distress, so you don't have to do anything to it. We're not going to add water. It's pretty runny the way it is. We're gonna use Tim Holtz splatter brush again. Sometimes I tap it off until I'm sure I don't have to. We're going to add a little snow to this Christmas tree scene. See how that makes it look Christmassy? And I've even done this too. That's weathered wood around the edge. But isn't that pretty, that weathered wood? It's one of my favorite colors. So if you don't have weathered wood, this is the one you need for, for sky and for snow. A little Christmas scene that you can put on our easels. Wouldn't that make a fun gift for someone? Thanks for stopping by today and I hope you have fun making these projects like I have. Thank you.